I see Christine interact with David. Quite frankly, I've never seen her be this happy. And that's no slight to my dad. I think that they really tried and they gave it a hard go and that they really did love each other. But I think that sometimes that's just the way things go. I'm reassured that this is right for Christine when I see how happy David makes her. Hey friends, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It is Thursday, January 11th, 2024. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. We are gonna talk about the sister wives. I know there's been so much content on them in the last six months, but Christine's wedding special is going to be on Sunday. And Christine and David got married in Utah and their wedding was attended by hundreds of friends and family members with camera crew in tow and all the children attended her wedding except for Cody and Robin's kids and many of the kids have been on camera sharing their thoughts Hunter Maddie Gabriel's gonna show up this week Savannah Isabel McKelty and even Aspen a couple you're not going to see on camera giving interviews are Leon and Logan. You'll never hear them on the show again, apparently. So in this new clip that came out, they are talking about polygamy and what the kids think about poly polygamy. I have some thoughts. And then in another portion of this video, let's talk about these new rumors about Cody and Robin and a divorce and apparently Aurora being the one to detail this information on a revealed on a YouTube channel called Topish. So let's dive into the topic. Before we do, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed and click on the bell so you never miss a video. So the hot topic of polygamy is what the sister wives started their show on back in 2009 and 2010. And this family has been a promoter of polygamy. They call it plural marriage because it makes, I think, them feel better about what the actual practice is. Uh, polygamy has a negative connotation, and I think they use the word plural marriage because it makes them feel like it's not as divisive. It's the same thing, though. And in this episode, the kids are asked about their thoughts about it. This has been a hot topic and this has been something that they've been talking about for years, the kids have, and to date, not a single one of their kids has made the choice to live as a polygamist or a second or third or fourth. <laughs> so let's hear what some of the kids have to say. With mom getting remarried, I guess I think of polygamy a little bit differently. I just don't think polygamy is good for everyone. It it wasn't good for my mom. And like in the end, it was good for her for a while. Um, and then she needed uh, something different. My mom and my dad obviously got divorced, but I think they still had a really beautiful life together. Yeah, I, w I would never want to live polygamy, but I'm really thankful that I grew up in a polygamous household because I love having so many siblings. It's amazing and so many moms. Interesting because I don't think that Aspen's view on plural marriage has changed that much. I honestly see the kids being very careful with their wording because it feels like they don't want to hurt their dad and they don't want to hurt their family that are still polygamists. And they have a lot of family that are still polygamists. So I'm sure they're trying to be as gentle as possible without alienating those folks. But I don't think, I don't really think Aspen's views have changed since her marriage to David because she's been pretty adamant at least since she's been with Mitch, that she doesn't want to be a polygamist. She doesn't want him to take plural wives. They are not believers of the faith. And Isabel says that she had a good life and loves all her siblings because of polygamy and loves having all these extra moms. And she'll expand on that in a minute, that she thinks that her dad and mom had a beautiful life together, which I guess if you don't know 
you don't really know what you don't know. So if you don't grow up in the world of monogamy or just with one parent or two parents, you really wouldn't have any frame of reference to understand what it would be like to be raised in a family without so many people, so many families, so many other women. I do wonder if you'd ask these kids when the cameras are off what they actually think, because I'm pretty sure that when McKelty spoke to Isabel in an interview last year, she was very against polygamy and believed it was harmful. So, you know, it's very different with between what they say publicly on the show, what they say on their social media, the image that in the editing that this show is trying to portray. I think a lot of what's not being said by the kids is that most of them just don't believe in this faith anymore. They don't buy into this idea that Joseph Smith was in a was in the woods one day and he heard from God and then he found some gold plates and then he took a rock, a magic rock and put it in a hat and then was able to somehow transcribe the Book of Mormon which is factually plagiarized by against a new numbers of books. They don't believe in it. Christine doesn't believe in it. She thinks that Joseph Smith is a creep and I believe he was too. So you'd have to buy into Joseph Smith understanding that he said that he had to be a polygamist mostly because he got caught cheating on Emma and then had to come up with a a reason why he could just have as many wives and sleep around as much as he wanted. As they say, polygamy is not about plural marriage. It's not about heaven. It's about men having an excuse to have sex. It's really fun, but I don't think I'd want that for my kids. I think that polygamy is a beautiful lifestyle for those that are, that desire it. Who believe in it. Who believe in it and want everything that comes with it. Personally, I don't think I would ever be able to make it work. It's so bizarre to me that they're being so careful with their words at this point because I don't think that any of these kids believe that it's a beautiful way to live. I don't believe that any of them think that it's good for children. I don't believe that any of them think that it's a great lifestyle for those that want to live it. But I feel like they're being extremely careful to say this on camera as to either not offend their mother, who still believes in plural marriage, or their father, who might still believe in it, or maybe some of their family members. But I don't believe that, I don't believe that Gabriel thinks it's beautiful for anyone. I don't believe that Savannah thinks it's beautiful for anyone. I don't believe that Isabel thinks it's a great way to live because she said that she wouldn't want her children to be raised that way. You know what I mean? So she says, I loved it because I had all these siblings because you can't go back in time and say, well, I regret my life and I regret all my friends and I regret, I regret my moms and I regret my siblings and I wish I didn't have them. Of course you'd love them, but they're not saying that they're against polygamy which is just strange because in previous tell-alls, when the kids have come on stage, most of them have been like, no, 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 no. I do not want polygamy. No, that is not for me. And here they're just being so guarded. I don't know if they were coached to be guarded or if they're just being respectful. Honestly, in Las Vegas is when my opinion about polygamy started to really shift. Her last year with David has been incredible. It's been everything that my mom deserves, everything that she's ever wanted. And so it's more of, it's an obvious tell that something was wrong from the beginning. If it's so perfect now. Here's what's really bizarre about this is that the girl McKelty that has the closest relationship to Cody of all of the kids is the one to come out as hard against polygamy than the rest of them. And I wonder sometimes, I know some vans feel like McKelty just says whatever she needs to say to the parent that she's with at the time to get on their good side, like she plays both sides. But in he, this in this moment, she's saying that everything with her mom and David has been so great that it makes her realize that everything with her mom and her dad's relationship was so wrong from the very beginning and her views completely changed about polygamy. 
If you know anything about Tony, he is very against polygamy. He doesn't believe in it. He thinks it's wrong. And McKelty also doesn't believe in it. And she thinks it's wrong. It's just interesting that the one child that has the closest relationship to Cody is the one child that's saying that I think it's wrong. And I'm glad my mom is happy. And if this is how it was supposed to be, then it was wrong. Christine didn't know what she didn't know. And it's clear that she and David appear happy. And that's what matters. So the next part of this video, we're going to talk about Cody and Robin. For the last several months, there's been a TikTok account and now a YouTube channel, which is an AI generated account using a computer farming out content about sister wives. And this happens with every show, with every hot topic. And this account has a account on TikTok. And on the TikTok, if you were to go look at it, you would actually find my videos. They take my videos and they post them as their own. And then every once in a while, they will throw in one of their own videos with an AI generated voice, giving information that seems credible, but isn't. And they haven't just used my content. I've talked to other creators that have had problems with the same account using their videos. And unfortunately, it's hard to get them off TikTok. This creator, this AI generated creator, and there is a person behind this account, has now moved on to YouTube. Their channel has 26,000 followers now. And on YouTube, this creator can't use my content or else they'll get a copyright strike. So now they're creating their own content and they're making content that isn't factual. And it's confusing a lot of people that are searching for Sister Wives, con Sister Wives content. I'm well aware that I'm not the only creator that you probably listen to about this topic. If you are a Sister Wives fanatic, you are probably consuming numerous creators. And every single person that covers this has a completely different point of view. I will say that Topish has been, the po has been a point of contention for me because one, they take my videos and they post them on TikTok as their own. I've emailed them and said, stop posting my content. They don't reply. But mostly I take issue with the fact that they're putting out videos that are false. And I think that people for the longest time actually thought that that was my TikTok account and it's not. And I also think that because they post a lot of my videos and other creators that credibly speak about the show and only report credible information about it, that they think that if they can weave in credible stories, they can throw in a doozy. But their doozies are really confusing people. So I want to just talk about a couple stories that this account has put out that are false. One story they put out a couple months ago was that Cody Brown was dating a woman named Amber Smith and that he was in a courtship and he was going to marry her. That's false. It's that simple. There's no Amber Smith. There's no new girlfriend. Cody is not on the market with a new girl. Like they're out of that world at this point. Another story that they pushed out was that Dayton Brown, who actually in the real world, Dayton goes by David. So when David is in the real world, he does not use Dayton. He uses David. But I'll use Dayton because that's the name you know him by. They, they put a story out that Dayton changed his name back to David Jessup and that he had moved to Montana and that he was living with his dad. And that's false. He is not David Jessup. He is still David Dayton Brown and he does not live in Montana. He lives in Flagstaff. He lives in an RV and he lives on his parents' property. The final video that I'm going to talk to you about is this video that they put out 11 days ago. It has 130,000 views. So 130,000 people have consumed this video. And now I'm getting so many messages. And it says that Aurora has spoken out and revealed details about her parents' relationship. The video does not cite who Aurora spoke to 
where Aurora shared this information, how they obtained the information. It just shares it as though it just, it happened, they know it, and it's the truth. And their story is that Aurora told everyone that Cody and Robin have already filed for divorce and uh, they're waiting to announce the divorce publicly because they're afraid of the backlash and that they are separated and they've already decided about their properties and their custody agreements and the marriage is over and everything in the house has been horrible and you fill in the blank. The problem with these stories is that some of some of their allegations are actually items you can search for public in public record. You can go into the courts and see if David changed his name. He didn't. You can go into Arizona and see if they filed for divorce and they haven't. You can go into records and see their current living. Like you can go into the county and see where, what property do they own? Are they still living at their house? Uh, who is living at their house with them? That's all public record. You can verify all of that. You can verify that Cody and Robin were literally out together with their daughter, Ariella, only a couple days ago, that Cody and Robin have been seen together numerous times in the last couple months, that while they have a strained relationship, they haven't gotten divorced, and there's no filings. And in the state of Arizona, they could do it all very seamlessly and very quickly, and they could do a joint petition where it's uncontested and they could file everything. So they could, they said that they've hired lawyers and that they've filed for divorce. They, the problem is, is that they haven't filed for divorce. They could put everything together, work everything out, and then file it like in one foul swoop and it just goes through. But I just don't see that happening, at least not yet. I think that in order for Robin to make that decision about leaving Cody, she would have to have a lot of decisions made about what she's going to do for her future with when it, as it comes to her job and supporting her family and supporting her minor children. And Cody and Robin are very tangled up in businesses. They have multiple businesses that they own together. They have all this property that they own together. And Cody and Robin haven't worked a lot outside of their income from sister wives. If you've noticed, all the other women had side hustles. Mary sold LuLaRoe, and at a time, I think she was selling some other MLM. Christine did LuLaRoe for a while. Then she moved to Plexus. Janelle's done Plexus. They've all done different ones called like Live, whatever. But they're doing those because they were not really getting money from sister wives. They, Cody was keeping all the money. Cody and Robin were basically keeping all the money. So Robin hasn't had a side gig. Her side gig was sister wives closet and that closed. She terminated that in November. She dissolved the company in November. So my sister wives closet is no longer a business. If she's still online and selling items, it's probably just the last remnants of what she has. If she's going to leave him, she would have to figure out what am I gonna do for work? Am I going to stay on the show? Part of the problem with Robin is that she doesn't share a lot about her private life on the show. She doesn't film a lot about herself. All of the filming she does is about everyone else. If you've ever noticed, she doesn't fill a film about her life. She films about Cody's relationships with other people, talks about Cody's relationships with other people, very rarely talks about herself, very rarely gives you an inside peek into their relationship. And we certainly are not getting filming of them doing stuff together where they look aggravated. Only recently when we've seen them do the talkbacks or the lookbacks or this wedding special where you've actually seen the two of them don't look happy together. But if she was going to stay on the show and leave him, she has an uphill she's got like a long hill to climb because she would have to be willing to share more about her life. She would have to be willing to expose more about herself. She would have to be willing to work more hours. She would have to be willing to share the money with everyone else. And she would have to be willing to be a single mother again. And I don't know if she wants to do that or not. Robin has a very significant problem, which is called shopping addiction. I don't know if it's like a DSM-5 problem. I don't believe you can actually be treated for it, but she does have a very compulsive spending problem. And she's 
I would classify a lot of what she does as hoarding. And if you talk to anyone that knows her, she is a compulsive shopper along with compulsive hoarder. And she needs an income source to fuel that compulsion. And that's why I don't see her leaving Cody at this time. But this web, this page just puts content out like that and says, oh yeah, Aurora said it to a friend. So all I'm going to say about other creators that create content, and I will say most of them do a pretty good job. It's just these AI generated ones that are worse. If someone's telling you that Aurora said this and they told someone, you need to ask who, who did they say this to? Where did you see this? Was this online? Was it posted on social media? Who's this person that you talked to? Did you talk to the friend that Aurora spoke to? Or are you just hearing this through the grapevine? I know that I use anonymous sources and I do, but when I've shared information from about Aurora, it's literally come from her cousin who just doesn't want to be named. So I speak to a cousin of Aurora's that's David Preston, Jess, Preston Jessup's niece. I've spoken to, I'm, I talk to them a lot. And so I'll say, yes, her cousin, Dave, David's niece, Preston's niece told me this. And then you can decide if you believe me or not, but generally what I share is comes to fruition. I speak to people from this culture all the time. Tons of them are in my comments. You'll see comments from people in the AUB. You'll see people that know the family in my comments. You'll see some people follow me that are from the family, not necessarily directly the Browns, but their extended family members, if you were to dig farther, far enough into my followers. But this Topish account has no proof and it's false. Is it probable that it could happen in the future? Yes, but Robin would have to figure out what she's going to do financially. She would have to have a fix for her compulsive shopping and she would have to decide if she wants to be a single mom again. And I don't know that she's capable. Honestly, I don't know. There's something about her where I just don't think she has a lack or I don't think she's a very good parent. And I think she's required a lot of help over the years. So no, right now, Cody and Robin have not filed for divorce. No, they are not separated. Is their marriage fractured? Yes. Are they not getting along? Yes. Are they having troubles in their marriage? Yes. Could they possibly divorce? Yes. Did Aurora tell this to a friend? No. Topish is a fake account and I don't want to tell anyone. I can't say you can't unfollow them. I'm just saying, consider the source. Um, that's not my account on TikTok and the account that posted this video is lying. So that's what I have for now. Tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below. Bye guys.